Okay, there it is. I'm gonna have to put you back up on the on the um back up on the situation. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, try not to let me in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. We going hard in the paint, yep, tonight we going hard. Just because that enemy didn't want me to come out here. Do y'all know I've been trying to get out here for like five minutes? I'm out here on my JTW ministry page, but right now I am not, um, and it's probably not even letting me rotate. Let's see, because it looks like it's, nope, we don't want to do that. Okay. Something's going on with this, and that's all right. Let's see. Can y'all see me? Let's see. Hey, y'all. It looks like it's trying not to let me do what I need to do tonight, but you know what? That devil is alive. We're going to go out here, and we're going to be alive. Let's see. It's, it's showing me that the comments... Okay. Let's see. It's showing me that the comments are not coming in right let's see this is crazy let's see you know what even if i have to hold it tonight we just gonna hold it and we gonna talk about let's see we'll do it this way okay i'm gonna turn this music down because we're not gonna quit that's what we're not gonna do we do exactly what this song says we go hard in the paint let's see so if y'all out there, tag a friend, let them know, come on in. Yeah, we still going to do it like this. Amen. It is what it is because I'm not going to quit. I'm going to come on in and just, hey, keep on talking to you all. So if you're out there tagging like this is you unlimited, this is our last broadcast for 2020. 21 for 2021 and in celebration of it being a new year coming in i got on my chandelier earrings got a little silver to spice it up tonight so might have to be a little bit off camera but it is what it is we're gonna keep on talking tonight um one of the things we're talking about tonight is gratitude we are talking about gratitude and before i get started let's see i've been trying to get out here for like five minutes so I'm going to go ahead and turn this music off, and we're going to open up with prayer, and we're going to let God have his way. Amen? Let's see. There we go. We're going to let God have his way. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for this day, the day that you have made, and we are rejoicing and being glad in it, God. We thank you tonight, Lord God. We're coming tonight just to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you've already done for us in 2021, and thank you for what you're going to do in 2022. We thank you, God, for life tonight. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength, God. We thank you because you are sovereign and you do all things well, God. We thank you, Lord God, for every trial and tribulation, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for every obstacle. We thank you right now, Lord God, for every triumph. We thank you, Lord God, for every time that we overcame. We thank you, God, tonight because we are here another night to say thank you. We are here another night to, to give you praise. We are here another night to just say we appreciate everything that you have already done for us, God. And we're open tonight, God. We're open to whatever you have to say to us. We're open for whatever you want to do tonight, God. We want you to have your way tonight in Jesus' matchless name. That's right. Come on in. Heart me up. Go ahead and um, like and share this video. I'm coming to you tonight and we are talking about gratefulness. We want to be grateful. We want to have gratitude. Why? You cannot be unlimited if you are you don't have gratitude. Do you understand what I'm saying? You There are so many times in our lives that things have happened and... Um, we just have to say thank you. We have to look at over our lives and, and see where God has done some great things. He's performed some miracles for us. Some of us, you know, hey, there was a song we were singing about two weeks ago in church. And the, the bridge of it was, I could have been dead and I could have lost my mind. Who, but he's been better than good to me. And that's what we want to talk about tonight, that God has been better than good to us. And it is time. If you haven't taken a time out, it is it is 
a day and a time to say thank you. God, I thank you for being so good to us. God, I thank you for keeping our minds. God, I thank you for mending our hearts. God, I thank you for keeping food on our table. God, I thank you for keeping our children, keeping a, a roof over our heads. God, I thank you for, for my heart being mended. I thank you, Lord God, for, for every time that I overcame. I thank you, God, for every bill that's been paid. I thank you, God, for every situation and circumstance that you showed yourself strong in tonight. We are coming to say thank you, God. You know, I um I just was looking back over this year. I've had a lot of time to ponder. Uh, my contract is on break right now, so a lot of I've been in the house and just looking at some things and just just looking over my life, just looking over 2022. And, you know, we know we've been in this COVID. We know we've gone through this pandemic. We know that we've lost a lot of people, but God, but God, do y'all hear what I'm saying? But God, when I wake up every morning, it is such a precious gift. The word says that his mercies are new every morning. So every morning it's like, God, I thank you. Every day I look in the mirror, God, I thank you. Every time I talk to a sister or a brother, God, I thank you. And I know so many people who have survived the COVID, um, who have survived survived COVID-19. I know many people who, who have gone into the hospital and were able to come out. God, I thank you for my sisters. God, I thank you for my brothers. God, I thank you for my pastor. Many of you do know that when COVID-19 first hit, that he was hit hard with it. He, We were prophesying and we were decreeing and declaring that it would not come nigh our house and that enemy tried to take our pastor out. But I'm here to say, God, I thank you. I thank you for leaders after your own heart. God, I thank you for saving my pastor. God, I thank you for, for blessing his wife not to be a widow. God, I thank you for his children not to have lost their fa their father in the name of Jesus. I mean, I've just been so grateful. You know, um, I've been many places. I've had COVID-19 scares. Come on, y'all. I've been exposed to it. I've had to quarantine a couple of times. I've had people who, who exposed me who were very sick, who got gravely ill. And God, thank God that they made it through. But that was even a scare for me. God, I thank you for keeping in me and every time I think about his keeping power I'm reminded that I've been kept here for a reason there's something that God has for me in the earth so I came to decree and declare that there's something that God has for you in the earth if you're here tonight if you're breathing if you're in your right mind if you have all your faculties there is something that God has for you in 2022 amen you are making it. We are decreeing and declaring that we're all crossing over in that midnight hour and we're thanking God in advance for what he has for us. We're thanking him in advance for what he has for us. Amen. I um I just can't stop thanking him. Can't help but love him. And tonight, if I'm if I'm redundant, forgive me, but I'm just out here to say thank you. Thank you for all the many blessings. Thank you, God. And a lot of times we don't realize just a little bit of gratitude takes us a long, long way. I mean, there's so many things that God has done for us. And in Psalms 116 and 12, it says, what shall I render unto God for all his mercies? What should we do? What just what can we do for all the benefits that we have received? Some of us have gotten second benefits. Come on now. Let's just be real. Let's just take a moment and think about those second benefits those times that we know that we did the things that God told us absolutely not to do and his grace covered us his mercy covered us and we made it through by the skin of our chinny chin chin sometimes but we made it through and we were able to repent and get back in our right place come on now that's God's mercy and that's God's grace and we're thankful for it tonight I know I am like I said earlier, there's a refrain, refrain in that song that says, I could have been dead every time I think about areas in my life where I made choices and decisions that I should not have made out of. Amen. No, when I say I should not have, I'm saying it from the perspective that I already knew when I went in that I was wrong for even going in. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So I'm coming out here to say, let's just say, God, I thank you. Let's just say, God, I appreciate you. Let's just say, God, you have been good to us and we're coming back like that one leper y'all and Luke there's a, a story in Luke uh I want to say it's uh Luke um let me see I think it's Luke Luke 7 Luke 17 I want to say it's Luke 17 if I'm wrong somebody correct me but it's when the the 10 lepers God came into a certain Jesus went into a certain city and um 10 lepers came up to him and they cried out to him to have mercy on them because they wanted to be healed and he said he healed them and he said go and show the priest because back in that day when you had leprosy you had to go 
when you were healed of it before you can come back into the city because lepers were put outside of the city. Amen. Lepers were put outside so they would not infect or contaminate anything in the city and get other people sick because they were infected. It was a very contagious situation. So at the end of the day, when they came upon Jesus, they cried out to him and said, Lord, have mercy upon us. And he told them, he said, you know what? Go back and show the priest that you have been healed. And the Bible says that 10 of them walked away. But only one came back and he was a Samaritan. Now, if anybody knows about Samaritans, that there was no, um, there was no, um, camaraderie. There was no affection between the Samaritans and the Jews. And Jesus was a Jew. And so it was almost a racial social situation there. But the Bible says that the Samaritan, the one that wasn't even quote unquote supposed to even be talking to Jesus came back and said, thank you. How many of us know sometimes in our life, we, we're not even supposed to be talking to Jesus from some of the things we've done, but he has shown us mercy. He has shown us grace. Some of us, he's healed our bodies. Some of us, he's healed our minds. Some of us, he's given us financial breakthroughs. Some of us, he's mended our family situations. Some of us, he has just been good to. And I just want to encourage us to tell God, thank you. The Bible says to enter his course with thanksgiving and, and enter his um, course with thanksgiving. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so out there, you know what I'm saying? I'm just out and I'm just full. So it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I'm here to say, that's what we're coming to do tonight. We're coming to enter his gates with thanksgiving. We're coming to say, God, I thank you. And it may sound redundant. You know what? Tonight, I don't even care. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say, God, you are a wonderful God. God, you have done some great things for us. When I said that the Bible says, what shall I render unto God? I just want to say thank you for all that you've already done. Thank you for every everything that you've brought me through, every obstacle, every mountain that you've brought me over. I want to say thank you. And I know there's a lot of us out here who have so much to be thankful for. And the bottom line is gratitude is a powerful thing. Having gratitude is a powerful thing. There's power in being grateful. A lot of us don't even realize that I didn't realize the power of being grateful. I didn't realize what grateful gratefulness could do for me until I started incorporating into it. Start, I, until I started um, moving in it in little things, little things. Gratefulness. Um, there's a study in. It's called psychological psychological psychology today let me pull it in y'all i'm just excited i'm just so grateful tonight but psychology today says that um gratitude opens up the door to more healthy relationships when you're a grateful person when you are always in a place of gratitude thankfulness and 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 giving mercy and showing mercy it opens up the door to new relationships it's the littlest things like send, sending somebody a thank you card or even just saying thank you in this day and age we don't even give cards or write letters what about sending somebody a text you know what the way you did what you did today just blessed me and i want to say thank you or the very words that you spoke to me bless me i just want to say thank you at our church, I am the head of our greeters and hospitality, and uh, we set, we stand at the door and we greet everyone that comes in. And a lot of times, I learned in that position that on Sunday mornings, there's a lot of people who haven't had a hug all week long, who haven't had anything nice spoken to them all week long, who haven't even gotten a smile or a good hello all week long. And so I, I talk to the people who are on our staff and I tell them, we want to stand at the door and we want to be that person that's very nice. We want to be that person that's sweet. We want to be that person that's welcoming them into our um, local assembly. And you would be surprised how grateful some of the people are. You'll be how, be be surprised of uh, how how just saying hello to somebody genuinely has blessed someone. You you wouldn't even understand. I mean, we've had people come back to us and and write us notes and send us posts and things of how grateful they are for the service <clears throat> that we've given them. I have to excuse my throat. Working in the school system, hollering at kids, <laughs> not in a bad way. We have a lot of little kids. So sometimes my, my, my voice goes in and out, but at the end of the day, 
we want to be grateful a lot of times people are so grateful and when i say it opens up the door to healthy relationships even you can meet someone out of just just showing gratitude and i'm i'm a, a fashion person i'm a hair person so i can appreciate things in fashion i can appreciate um a good hairstyle i can appreciate a, a a sharp haircut when i'm in the mall or when i'm in the store and i see a woman and she walks past me and she has a nice haircut it doesn't matter her nationality or culture if her haircut is nice i'm the first to say you know what that is a nice haircut and sometimes it sparks up conversation i've met many women like that i've i've even made friends like that so it does it does open up the door to healthy relationships even i found out even like even in when i go to church i mean i'm not the person to be like oh my god they think they look cute because they have on this and that today i'm the person that's going to go to them and say you know what you are killing it with that outfit you are sugar sharp today in that outfit you know what i'm saying because i appreciate those things and so i let people know i'm so grateful that you got up this morning and combed your hair and it was cute i mean i'm just i'm just being me that's the stuff that i'm grateful for and it may sound frivolous or what have you but it's open up doors to conversations with me it's opened up doors to relationships with my sisters and brothers i mean it's just those little things that can help relationships and it's just all about showing gratitude even when somebody opens up the door for you going into the to a store or things of that nature i always thank the person that opens up the door for me because i know there's many days that i've been walking behind men and they just let the door close in front of me and i'm like dog that we don't even have you know chivalry anymore so i'm grateful when a guy holds the door open for me i'm grateful when i'm walking out of the door and a woman's coming past and she holds the door while i walk through it. even if i'm taking the door myself i'm like wow i'm still grateful for those little things um great gratitude it also improves your psychological health health when you when you have gratitude about who you are when you're grateful for who you are when you look at yourself in the mirror and you are are you see yourself as beautiful when you see yourself as um when you can see be be grateful to god for your skin color when you can be grateful for god grateful to god for your smile when you can be grateful to god for your health and your strength when you can be grateful to god for the things that you already have when you walk out the door there's not even a bit of jealousy or enviousness of envy of anything that anyone else has so you have a, a healthy understanding of who you are you are grateful for who you are you love yourself and you know we talk about being unlimited and you cannot be unlimited if you don't have confidence you cannot be unlimited if you don't love yourself so when you're grateful for who you are there's no way you can be jealous of somebody else there's no way that anybody else doing whatever they're doing affects how you do what you do amen it, it it's like it reduces toxic emotions when you are psychologically grateful when you when you um think on on things i'm gonna take you to that scripture i want to think I, I think it's in philippians 4 and 6 let's find that scripture because this is the one that i love it's another one about um our minds our minds the bible says in philippians 4 let's see 4 and 8 let's go there philippians 4 and 8 it says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report and if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things if we keep our minds on those kind of things we don't have room for foolishness we don't have room for for excuse me toxic emotions we don't have room for wondering what ifs and why nots and things of those natures because we're thinking on the things that are pure we're thinking on the things that are true the things that are true that you are fearfully and wonderfully made that's the truth that you are the head and not the tail that's the truth when you become you are going to become the lender and not the borrower that's the truth that you're going to be blessed and you're going in the city and you're blessed when you're coming out of the city that's the truth come on here somebody when you are thinking on those things you don't have time and you don't have room to think about negativity and then when that negative thought comes in or when that negative suggestion comes in the bible says to renew your mind that means that you change that thought and you all know i talked to you all about the medically known factor called uh the, the system called neuroplasticity that when a negative thought comes in just take a few seconds and stop and think a negative don't think a negative thought turn that thought into a positive thought and it creates a new neuroplast it takes a it, 
it creates a new pathway, a new neuron is being made in your brain so that there is a new pathway of thought so that you don't stay in that negativity. Amen. So we have to know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. God made our minds that we can even change our thoughts in the twinkling of our eye. Whatever you think about you that is negative, let me tell you something. That is a suggestion from the enemy. And I'm here to tell you that the Bible says that the devil is a liar, that he is the father of lies. So if he says that you can't, the truth is that you can. When he says that you won't, the truth is is that you will. If you keep on pressing, if you keep on standing on course, and if you stay focused, I'm here to tell you that there's nothing that you cannot achieve. And it's all coming from gratefulness, having a spirit of gratitude. And gratitude is a discipline, y'all. It's not something that you wake up and it's easy to do. Oh, I'm just grateful for everything. No, we have to train ourselves. Come on. Because this flesh, come on now, our thoughts, we want to think this, the thoughts that we want to think. So we have to train our brains. We have to train our minds. And, and um, I've heard it said before, I think Oprah said that we got to quit that stinking thinking and stuff like that. It's the truth, y'all. If we think of the things that are true and just and honest of good report, it's not a good report that you're going to be sick. So we're not going to think on those things. We're going to think that God is a healer. Amen. So right now I decree and declare healing over your life. If there's any place of infirmity, I bind it up now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, if there's anything going on in your body, in your mind, in your spirit, in your heart, that is an ailment or that is an infirmity, I bind it up now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare you are healed. I decree and declare a sound mind. I decree and declare power in the name of Jesus. And I even decree and declare that he stirs up every gift in your spirit, every gift of prayer, every gift of consecration, every gift of of, of, of wisdom, every gift of knowledge, I decree and declare that it be stirred up tonight in Jesus matches name. So that as you walk and as you move and live and breathe in him, that you do it successfully, that you do it with precision in the name of Jesus. Why? Because you are unlimited. There's nothing that you cannot do. There's nothing that you cannot achieve. And I know I'm talking about gratefulness, but the devil is a lie. And I want you to know that God is in control. Y'all God is sovereign and he does all things well and all he's asking for is a thank you come on now all he's saying is is give me my praise give me what's due hey come on here you see the things that he's done for you you know the things that he's done for your children you know the things that he's done in your family i can't name them but you can i'm here to tell you, you know those days that he gave you joy in the midst of sorrow come on somebody i know what i'm talking about i know i'm not the only one amen hey my that's my cousin leslie amen come on in leslie from cleveland i think i got some other clevelanders on there too. I think I got Marsha Clark. I got Sonya. I think Sister Sonya in there from, from New Jersey. Come on in, y'all. Tag and like. Tag this video and tell, tell somebody we're talking about gratefulness tonight. We're talking about um, God doing some grateful things. We're talking about being grateful to God for all the things that he's done for us. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And y'all know, y'all know we got those songs that we sing. It could have been me. Y'all know that song. Thank you. It could have been me. It could have been me outdoors with no food and no home. Come on now. Y'all know it's the truth anyhow. Y'all know it's the truth anyhow. Y'all know with this pandemic, with um COVID-19, y'all know even before the pandemic that a lot of a lot of people were living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people were just one paycheck away from homelessness. That could have been you. It could have been me. Come on now, somebody. But I'm just thankful for all that he has done. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Grateful for the, the mercies that are new to us every morning. Just grateful because he sees fit to, to open up our eyes. He sees fit to give us another opportunity to get it right, y'all. Another chance to come before him and repent for things that we know that we have done that God has given us grace for. He gives the opportunity to come before him and say, God, I'm sorry. He gives us the opportunity to come before him and just pour our hearts out. The Bible says that he cares for us watchfully and affectionately. He he says Casho cares upon him because, because he cares for you watchfully and affectionately. God cares about everything that is concerning you. God cares about everything that is going on with you. Y'all hear what I'm saying? That's a loving God. And I'm here to tell y'all, he's a giving God. And we ought to say thank you. The Bible tells us in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Who does that? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because I'm here to tell you. I love you, but I'm not, I'm not about to give my son for you. 
Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm not about to sacrifice my son for you. Amen. But that's the kind of God that we serve. That's the kind of God that we have. And I'm just out here tonight. I'm saying thank for, I'm just saying thank you, God, because I look over 2022. I look over 2019. I look over 2020 and I look over 2022. And I'm here to tell y'all, God has been good to us. If you are alive today, if you are breathing, if you are on this broadcast, God has been good to you. If you're children are still alive if you if you have um your finances if you're in your right mind god has been good to you so tonight we just talking about gratitude we're talking about gratitude um it helps you sleep better <laughs> That was one of the other th points that, that psychology today says it helps you sleep better. Just taking a few moments before you go to bed and say, God, I thank you and name the things that you're grateful for. Some people like to journal it and write it down. And you know, and you know, speaking of journals, yes, our top sharer gets their own personal uh, you unlimited journal. That's something that you could use. You could use this journal to write down every night what you're grateful for. It don't have to be a hundred things. It could be one thing that God did for you in the middle of the day that just blew your mind or it could be a small thing that you, people think take people think take for granted something just like having all your bills paid you hear what i'm saying something like not having to go outside today in the snow something like i don't i don't know it could be a small thing it could be a phone call that you got today just thank them for it amen I'm just full of gratitude tonight. I love the Lord, our God. He is an awesome God and awesome in all his ways. Another scripture that I want to take us to is Psalm 100. Um, this is another one that, that I just want to share tonight about being grateful. And I'm sorry, I'm back off, off the camera because y'all know I'm playing games with this, uh, um, Facebook was playing reindeer games with me today. Christmas is is almost over. You don't have to play with me tonight. Um, it wouldn't even let me come on. It made me um, it made me come out and go all the way in, and made me late getting on. <sighs> Psalm one hundred, only five verses. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. The, the sheep of his pastor. <laughs> Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his course with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Come on, somebody. I'm so grateful because the Lord is good and his truth is everlasting and it endures from generation to generation. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I, I just, I love God. I love him because of the peace that he gives. I love him because of the joy that he gives. And I don't know about some of y'all. It's been some crazy things going on. It's been crazy just in finances. It's been crazy in relationships. It's been crazy in the news. It's been crazy in our school systems. It's been crazy just in, in the government. It's been crazy all across the land. But I'm thanking God for a peace that passes all understanding that guides our hearts and our minds through his son, Christ Jesus. Come on now. Uh, we have we have we have so many things to be grateful for we have so many things to show guys gratitude for i mean the 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 bottom line is he saved us he saved some of us from hell when i tell you save some of us from hell i mean some of us from a burning hell come on now somebody and i don't know about you but i can raise my hand for that i don't know about you but i know who i was and i know who i am today and i know that i'm a far cry from what i used to be and i thank god for that and i know that there's a lot of things that i still have yet to accomplish but i know that i can do all things through christ that strengthens me because he loves me and he cares for me watchfully and affectionately i thank him because even the trials and tribulations that i've gone through the Bible says that all things work together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. Amen. And what is your purpose? Your pur purpose is to give him praise. Your purpose is to worship him. Your purpose is to exemplify the life that he's given us. Your purpose is to walk uprightly. Amen. The Bible even says for those who walk upright, he will withhold nothing from us. Amen. 
There's so many things to be grateful for. 2021, I don't know about you, but whew, I'm not mad about it. I'm glad about it because it showed me that, yes, it solidified that I'm a beast. I don't know about y'all, but y'all know I tell y'all every morning I look in the mirror and I say, hey, girl, you a beast. And I'm telling you, 2021 solidified that. 2021 said, if I can make it through this, I can make it through anything. Amen. And that's what God is showing us. If he's brought you through A, B, and C, he can show bring you through D. Amen. So put whatever it is on the altar and ask God to, to break it down for you. Show you how to navigate this life. Show you how, how to get, get you ready for 2022 because that's what this is really all about. This gratitude is really getting us ready for 2022. Coming into 2022, thanking God for everything that he's going to do for us, knowing that he's able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think according to the power that works within us. So at the end of the day, we're thanking him for what he did in 2020 through honey. 2021 but baby we getting ready for 2022 because he's not gonna uphold anything for those who walk up right before him he's not going to uphold the wisdom the bible says if you even want wisdom that you can ask it and believe that he's going to give it to you because he's not unfaithful and he's not unjust to upbraid it that means that he's not going to tangle it for you you can ask him anything and he'll break it down for you. Ask the Holy Ghost to give you wisdom. Ask the Holy Ghost to show you how to navigate some things because we serve a triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says that the Holy Ghost is our comforter and he leads us and guides us to all truth. The truth of what? The truth of every situation. The truth of every problem. The truth of every circumstance. The truth of what you need to do. The truth of where you need to go. The truth of who your family, um, who you need to have relationship. The truth of who you don't need to have a relationship if we lean on her he'll give us the truth amen y'all i'm here to tell y'all god is a wonder in my soul he's a wonder in my soul and i come out here every monday to tell you that you are unlimited the things that i'm seeing him do in some of the saints right now the books that are being released the songs that are being released the the um the um the screenplays that are being written i'm here to tell you i'm here to tell you god is a wonder let's see um wow i thank god i thank god Sister, what is it, Dijon, Dijon Baptiste, it says, her testimony says, 2021 was nothing but blessings through the power of prayer, faith, and understanding. Thank you. Amen. 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 No matter what happened, it was a blessing. Amen. Every trial and tribulation was a blessing because you made it through. Amen. And like I said, he says all things work together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. Amen. I'm here to tell you, I am so grateful. And that's what I want us to have. I want us to go into 2022 with a grateful heart. Hey, amen. Giving thanks for things that he has not done yet. I mean, decreeing and declaring, thanking him for those things. And I mean, we talked about um, how to pray a few weeks ago. We talked about the acronym for prayer was um, adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Amen. So going into 2022, let's go in thanking God for some things that we want in advance. Thanking him in advance for that job. Thanking him in advance for favor. Thanking him in advance for favoring your finances. Thanking him in advance for relationships. Thanking him in advance for um Whatever it is that you're believing God for, thanking them in advance for your children, thanking them in advance for, for your schooling. If you're going back to school, thanking them in, in advance for achieving that degree, thanking them in advance, amen, for mending relationships, thanking them in advance for everything that you want and knowing if you live upright, that it's nothing that he is going to uphold from, from you. When I say live upright, am I saying that you have to be perfect? No, because we are not perfect. The Bible says that all of us come short of the glory of God. That's everybody makes mistakes mistakes but i'm saying you know we talked about repentance and the power of repentance i'm telling you be quick to to repent if you mess up be quick to repent be quick to say god i'm sorry be quick to get back in your place and if you offend somebody be quick to um to apologize and if somebody offends you be quick to forgive don't get stuck don't let nothing keep you from getting what god has for you in 2022 that don't let nothing get in the way of your gratitude don't get let nothing get away of you being grateful don't let 
nothing get in the way of that. Amen. I'm here to tell y'all because I'm running in 2022. I'm not running away from nothing in 2021, but I'm running into what God has for me in 2022. I'm running into the manifestation of prayers that I prayed long years ago because I'm believing God for manifestation. So I'm here to tell you, speak those things. The Bible says that we can speak a thing and it be established. That's the word of God. And that's what we can do right now. We can speak that God is making a way for us. We can speak that God is going to take care down every wall. God, we can speak that every door being open for us. Amen. So I'm here to tell you, let's thank him in advance. Thank him for what he's going to do. Thank him in advance. Thank him for where he's taking us in advance. Amen. Amen. We talked about the um, different mountains that need to be infiltrated in our church. The seven mountains, mountains of, of business and finances, mountains of education, the mountain of church and family, the mountain of sports and entertainment, the mountain of um, government and the mountain of uh if I'm missing some one of them, just just throw it out there. But we're going and we're infiltrating these mountains, and we gotta do it with the spirit of gratitude. We gotta move. We gotta know that God. We're thanking Him in advance for opening up doors. We're thanking Him in advance for for putting us in positions that we know that we don't even have education for. Come on, y'all. It, God's gonna do some great things in 2022, uh, but we gotta walk into it with gratefulness. We that's right. The media and entertainment. Yes, thank you, Sister Sonia. We gotta walk into it. I mean, with gratefulness, we got to walk into with a mindset that God, you going to do this for us. God, you're going to do this for my son. God, you're going to do this for my, my, my wife. God, you're going to do this for my husband. God, you're going to do this at my school. God, you're going to do this on my job. Just going in with a grateful heart, with a grateful mind, but trusting and believing that he is able to do it. Amen. And trusting and believing that you are able to do it. Trusting and believing that you are able to accomplish everything that you want to accomplish. Amen. God, I love him. I love him. I love him. And if you get anything out of this, go ahead and just type it into the comments. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, sis. I'm getting it, y'all. I don't know. I'm, I just feel the fire of the Holy Ghost tonight. And I don't even, I just, I'm just feeling it. I'm, I promise y'all, I'm just feeling it tonight. My God, my God, my God. I am just, I'm, I'm excited for what God is going to do for us. When we set our minds to believe, when we set our minds to, to, to know that God is not going to uphold nothing from us. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? God is not, he's not evil like that. The Bible says, John 1 and 17. James, I mean, not John, James, James 1 and 17, y'all. James 1 and 17, it says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. The bottom line is, before the foundation of the world, he wanted to bless you. When he created you, he created you because he knew he wanted to bless you. You're still here because he has a blessing for you. And he hasn't changed your, changed his mind about you. He hasn't changed his mind about what he wants to do for you. He hasn't changed his mind about what he wants to do for your children. He hasn't changed his mind about the blessings that he has for you. We just have to get ourselves in the right position. And one of the positions is gratefulness. Let's just be grateful for the love that he has for us. Well, let's position ourselves with thanksgiving. God, I thank you. I thank you for being in my right mind. I thank you for, for the love that you show me. I thank you, God. Sometimes we know we don't deserve it. We know it's just his mercy. But at the end of the day, I'm here to tell you, the Bible says there's no variableness. He's not changing. He's not switching up. We're the ones that switch up. That's why I talk to y'all about repentance because we're the ones that switch up. We know what God said about us. We know that we know what we heard. We we know. We know and some of us don't walk in it. Why? Some of us don't walk in it because of fear. Some of us don't walk in it because we are... Um, what is it? Um, not fear. Well, we, we some of it is fear, but some of it is guilt. Some of it is we've done some things or we made some choices or we made some mistakes and, and we feel like we're not worthy of, of the things that God has for us. But the devil is a lie. Repent. Ask God to wash you and get what God has for you. Shake yourself. Amen. We made some mistakes. Just shake yourself and go ahead and go forward. Amen. I'm so grateful. I'm so, I'm so, um, Grateful because the gratitude, it opens up the door for, for the spirit of joy. Gratitude opens up the door for enthusiasm. Gratitude opens up the door, I mean, to just love. When you, when you're grateful, 
you coming from a place of love. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm here to tell y'all love wins every time. I'm here to tell y'all love wins every time. And I know I do this little thing and, you know, because I believe that love wins. And I believe that love is one of the, love is like a bullet that will pierce the hearts, y'all. And I'm here to tell y'all, I've had situations and circumstances in my life where I know that I've had conflict with people. And when I choose love and now we have relationship, this is what, this is how I be. I be like, because I know that love got you. You hear what I'm saying? Them the bullets that I'm shooting. I'm not shooting hate. I'm not shooting none of that. When I feel like there's an issue of conflict, love, love repents. Love goes back. Love goes back and apologizes. Love goes back and asks, hey, sis, did I offend you? Love goes back. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Love goes back. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And I keep repenting because there's been times that I've seen where people just won't apologize. And they don't even realize that they're not walking in their blessings because they won't even apologize or they won't repent. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I don't want that to be you. I want you to walk in everything that God has for you. I want you to walk into your unlimited power, your unlimited ability, your unlimited place. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I want y'all to be there. I'm so excited about what God's going to do for us when we get into our right position, our proper position of gratitude. Amen. Um, gratitude reduces stress. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Gratitude reduces stress. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? When you are in a place of gratitude, a lot of times, People think that you're crazy or you're trying or, or, or you're passive or something like that. But gratitude is not passive. Gratitude is powerful because gratitude will get you out of a place of depression because it'll begin to help you think about the things that you do have as opposed to the things that you don't. It'll begin to help you to think about the things that have worked out as opposed to the things that haven't. Gratitude will have you thinking about the things that can work out as opposed to the ones that can't. Gratitude will have you thinking of the things that you can do as opposed to the things that you can't. Come on, somebody. We have to be grateful. We have to stay in a place of gratefulness because it's just health to our bones. It's health to our bones. It's strength. It's strength to our minds. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It reduces the stress. The, the, the stress. Gratitude reduces um, the effects of, of post-traumatic stress disorder. Y'all hear what I'm saying? That might sound like a lot. But in Psychology Today, because y'all know I read that article, it was saying that they found lower lower amounts of of post-traumatic stress disorder in people who were grateful. Even after 9-11, the people who are grateful, who were grateful that they were still alive as opposed to, to mad about what happened. Of course they were mad. Of course they were hurt. But they were more grateful that they still had life. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And it helped them get through the situation. It helped them get to the other side. And that's another thing. I mean, grateful will help, help you get past the offense. Gratefulness will help you get past the pain. Gratefulness will help you get past the offense. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It'll help you get past the injury, even physical injury. It will help you get past it. I, do y'all know what? I'm, I'm here to tell y'all. I'm going to give y'all a testimony about a friend of mine. He, said that he was like a brother to me. His name was Pastor Andre Sweeney. And many of you know Pastor Sweeney. The day that I met Pastor Sweeney, he was in a wheelchair. The moment that I met him, he was in a wheelchair. Okay? And I knew him for over 15 years. In all the 15 years I knew him, he was in a wheelchair. And not one time, not one time did I hear him complain about being in a wheelchair. Not one time did I hear him complain about anything that he had to go through about being in a wheelchair. When I would talk to him, he had nothing but blessings, nothing but gratitude, nothing but honor to God for his life. When I'm here to tell you, when I'm here to tell you, he was such an inspiration to me that I mean, we had even we even got to the place where after 15 years he was like our brother. Brother, I mean, when I tell you, he shares so many of his, of his, um, of the challenges that he had 
But in all of the challenges that he had, he never, not one time complained. He was always grateful. He was grateful that he was still alive. He was grateful for all the help that God sent him. He was, he was grateful for his wife of, oh my God, who was such a blessing. And Pastor, Pastor Kendra Sweeney is such a jewel. He was grateful for the help from his parents. He was grateful. My son, Armor Bear, for him. He was grateful. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And he taught me so many lessons about being grateful. And I watched that man. That man worked harder than some men with two working legs. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? And I watched that he was insp inspiration to me. So when I think about things that I don't have, when I think about when things are not going well, I think about Pastor Sweeney and I think about not one day that he complained. He was always grateful. So I want you to, if you don't know Pastor Sweeney, let him be your inspiration today. This man was always from, from a child in a wheelchair and not one time did he complain. And I'm here to tell you, he blessed my life and he worked so hard and he was a powerful man of God. When I tell you a man of revelation and wisdom, God spoke to that man so many times. He preached the word of God that was just unadulterated and full of the anointing. He was such an, an inspiration to me. He inspired me to do so many things. I mean, so many times as a single mother, he 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 encouraged my son. I mean, he was his, my son's goddad. So we had many conversations, but not one of those conversations was about hating being in that wheelchair. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He was grateful and he touched so many lives. He impacted so many lives just by being grateful. So if, if I can encourage you tonight to do anything, be grateful, be grateful for what God has already done for you. Be grateful for what he's going to do for you in 2022. Write those things down that you want him to do for you. Journal them. Get, I mean, put it out there and say, hey, God, this is what I'm looking for. Show me what I need to do it. If he's saying go back to school, thank him and go back to school and be grateful for getting that degree and get, getting certified for what you need to do. Amen. If he's telling you, I mean, if he's telling you to change your career, hey, figure out what you have to do to change that career and go for it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Go for it. Gratitude is the attitude that we going into 2022. I was trying to make that rhyme, but gratitude is the attitude that we're going into 2022. Amen. Somebody write that in the cat in the comments. Gratitude is the attitude that we're going into 2022. Amen. We got to go for it, y'all. We got to go and get our blessings. We got to go and trust God in 2022. He is an awesome God and there's nothing that he will withhold from us if we live up right. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful. I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful to even being out here. I'm grateful for everyone who has tuned in tonight. I'm grateful for all the comments. I'm grateful. I, I just, I don't know what else to say, but God, I love you. Amen. Hey, um, hey, Dalen, how you doing, nephew? How you doing? Uh, it, the, the last one, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all go. Gratitude improves self-esteem. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Gratitude improves your self-esteem. Gratitude will improve how you think about yourself. When you start being, when you start looking at yourself and being thankful for what God has given you, being thankful for being fearfully and wonderfully made, being thankful for all of your faculties, being thankful for just how you look. I don't care. Look here. Thank God. Thank God for what you look like. Thank God for who you are. Thank God for the wisdom that he's given you. Thank God for all the accomplishments that he's allowed you to accomplish. Thank God. You hear what I'm saying? Be grateful for everything that he's allowed you to achieve. Be grateful for every opportunity that he's allowed you to experience everything. Let's just be grateful. Amen. And when you begin to number the things that God has allowed you to see and do and experience that are positive things. You can't help but feel good about yourself. You can't help. You can't help it. And sometimes I'm telling you, you got to write it down. Sometimes you got to write it down. I'm here to tell you, I'm going to get, I'm going to tell y'all this. I, there was one day that I had to sit down and write down all the things that I had accomplished in my life because the enemy will have you thinking that you ain't done nothing. Amen. And I'm going to tell y'all, I was, I was dealing with it because I was looking over my, I was just thinking and I was saying to myself, you know, 
I really ain't done nothing. You know, I, I'm a, I'm a good mom, you know, but you know, that's, I mean, my son is good and he's, he's done, but that's the only thing I've ever really done that was good. And the devil was just beating me up and, and the Holy Ghost was like, hold on, let's no get a pencil and paper. Let's write down everything that you did. And I started to write down some of the things that I've accomplished in my life over the time, over my life. And I started, I mean, I literally had uh, like two columns of things that I've done. And I began to say, girl, did you know you bad out here? That's when I started saying you a beast. Y'all understand me? That's when I started recognizing like, oh, wait a minute, sis, you somebody. And I'm here to tell you tonight, brother, you somebody, sis, you somebody, okay? Nephew, you somebody, niece, you somebody, okay? So you got to, you got to, hey, be grateful for who you are and let that build your self-esteem. Let that build your self-confidence. Don't let that devil beat you up about stuff that you haven't accomplished yet. And y'all know I, I got y'all on this real estate exam journey with me. Do y'all know? The last time I talked to y'all, I said, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Uh, I'm going to get that certification. I'm going to get that license. Do y'all know I went down there and I took the test again? You got to have 80. And I don't know if you all know, when you go to take a state exam, the, the questions are, the, the concepts are still the same, but the, co the questions are different. So, I could take the test 10 times and have 10 different sets of questions. That's how it's, it's set up. Amen. Because they want to make sure that you know everything. So I went down there this last time. I went down there, y'all. I'm like, yes, I got this. Yes, I did this. I started taking those, looking at those questions. Some of them I had never seen before in my life, but I was like, nope, I got this. I got this. Do you know I came out that room with a 78, a 78, okay? But that's all right because guess where I'm going back? I'm going back again because we're not stopping until we win. We're not stopping until we pass. And the day that I pass, I might come out and do a live that day because it's happening. I'm not going out like that. In 2022, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my, ex, uh, my real estate license because because in 2022, I am going to be that real estate mogul. Amen. Y'all going to read about Miss J. Y'all going to read about White Lions Property Solutions handling business. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm going there. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. I'm excited. I'm not even discouraged because I'm grateful because guess what? The next time I take it and I pass it, y'all better know what I'm going to do. I'm going to know real estate inside and out. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So when you sit before me and I helping you, I'm going to be able to be A1. I'm going to be A1 with it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm not even worried about it. That ride back was a little, who I was like, God, what's going on? What's, what is, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? And so I just started researching it. I just started saying, okay, what's going on? He, my mom used to say this. She used to say, it's always the darkest before the dawn. So I'm just waiting for the dawn, y'all. I'm just waiting for the dawn. I'm not even worried about it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity to go back. Because every time I go back, I got to pay for the test. So I'm grateful that I can afford to pay for the test, y'all. I'm grateful that I got a car to take me back to get to take the test again. Amen. I'm grateful for once I get the daggone license. When I say daggone, Lord, forgive me. I don't mean to be using substitutes. But when I get the license, I'm grateful because it must be something greater on the other side for me. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It wouldn't be this hard if I wasn't going to succeed. It wouldn't be this hard if I wasn't going to be fired up. Okay, I see the fire out there. So that's what I'm looking at. It. So I'm here to tell y'all, encourage y'all. If it's something that, that that's not working out, keep on working at it. Ask God for the strategy. Cause you know what? I'm just asking God, what do I need to do? And just so happy, I'm gonna tell you how good God is. This is how good He is. When you know that there's something for you and you know that you got to go and you're not gonna allow the enemy to mess with your mind, God will send people to help you. Had a phone call today. Called one of my friends. Haven't talked to her in a while just for the holidays to see how she's doing and find out my sis is a, a housing inspector. I know she was a housing inspector. Well, I'm here to tell you. I mean, and if you don't know Sharia Woods, go out there. If you need housing inspecting, call Sharia Woods. I don't know her. Um, I don't know what her um, handle is, but Sharia Woods, like Maria Sharia Woods. Go out there if you need a housing inspector. She's the bomb. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm talking to her and I'm telling her about this. I'm like, hey, sis, this is what I've been doing 2021. I've been trying to get past this real estate thing. She was like, girl, let me send you this link and get you some some help. Do you know she sent me? study tools, some study tools that I didn't have. 
So this week, guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be using these study tools that I didn't even have access to. I, well, access. I didn't know you know about them. Amen. So she sent me these access, this, this link so I can access some new study tools. So guess what I'm going in? I'm going in with guns loaded next time. I'm going in ready like pew, pew, pew. I'm coming to get my stuff. Y'all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all gotta excuse my personality, but y'all got, I just gotta be me. The bottom line is I'm going in like a beast, y'all. I'm going to get my stuff. I'm not worried about it. I'm saying, hey, God, I'm trusting and believing that however many times I gotta take it, I'm gonna take it until I win. I'm gonna take it until I get it, y'all. And when I come out here, if y'all see me with pom poms and stuff, y'all know, hey, she got her stuff. But I just want to encourage you all. Let's just stay in a place of gratitude. Let that be our attitude for 2022. And y'all know, um, I just want to pray tonight for gratitude. And then we're going to pray for salvation. And we're going to pray for restoration. We're just going to go for it all tonight. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come tonight thanking you. We thank you, God, for the things that you have already done. We thank you, God, for the blessings that you have already bestowed upon us, God. We thank you, Lord God, for clearing the path for a new day in 2022. We thank you, God, and we're coming out saying we're grateful. We're grateful for everything that you have in store for us, God. We're, we're grateful for the doors that you're opening now in the name of Jesus. We're grateful for the finances that are flowing free for us now in 2022 in the name of Jesus. We're thankful, God, for mending relationships for us in 2022, God. We're thankful and we're grateful that as we operate and move into 2022, God, that the doors will fly open for our success, that doors will fly open for us in favor, God. We're thanking you right now, Lord God, that, that we shall not fail in 2022 because there's no failure in you, so there's no failure in us, God. We thank you for every lesson that we shall learn in 2022. We thank you, God, for making us better than before in 2022, God. We thank you, God, because you're able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think according to the power that works within us God and we thank you that that power is the Holy Ghost power God we thank you that is the power and the spirit of truth that will lead us and guide us to into everything that we need God every every valley Lord God you're bringing it high and every Mountain God, you're bringing it low, God. We thank you right now that we're walking into 2022 with a clean slate, God. We thank you right now, and we're giving your name the praise and the glory in Jesus' matchless name. Now, y'all know I cannot let tonight go without making sure that everybody is saved. Y'all know that's my job. I'm not going to go out without saying it. So if you do not know Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sins, I'm here to tell you that this is the hour and this is the day of salvation. If you do not know Jesus Christ in the part of your sins and you pray this prayer with me, hashtag saved in the comments. And we're also going to be praying for restoration. If you know somebody that's not walking in, in um, the right relationship or if you have fallen out of relationship with God, but you know you're saved, but you just kind of got off track, um, I'm going to ask you to pray a prayer with me also. And I want you to hashtag restored in the comments. Now, also, if you don't have a church home and if you like or if you res anything that I said tonight resonates with you, then I'm here to tell you, you ought to join me at Kingdom Life Ministries here in Saginaw, Michigan, 310 South Jefferson. And I'm here to tell you, it is good ground. Now, you may say, I don't live anywhere in Saginaw. I'm not nowhere in Michigan. You don't have to be here. You can be a part of our E family. We have membership across this nation. And if you want to be a part of it, just put in hashtag KLM and I will get you connected. Amen. And before I even pray, I just want to thank all of you all who have dropped me an inbox and thank you for this program. I just want to say, you know, it's such an honor to come out here. It's such an honor to, to share the word of God with you. So let's pray for those who need to be saved. If you have not been saved and you don't know Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sins, repeat this prayer after me. God, I know that you love me and I'm coming here tonight because and praying because I have sinned. Your word says that all have fallen short of the glory of God. So that's me, God. And I'm coming tonight asking you to wash me of my sins. I'm thanking you because your son Jesus died and he rose again with all power. And I'm asking Jesus tonight to be Lord of my life. Come into my heart and be Lord of my life. I thank you tonight for saving me if you prayed that prayer put hashtag saved in the in the comments 
Hashtag saved. It's not about bells and whistles and it's not about thunder and lightning. When you ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost comes in right then and you don't have anything to worry about. From this day forward, you are saved. If you have a breach in your relationship, Father God, I'm asking you right now to cover your sons and daughters. I'm asking you right now, Lord God, to have mercy and grace for those who have, have had a breach in a relationship with you, God. I'm decreeing and declare tonight that they are coming to you asking to be restored restore them in their hearts restore them in their minds but mostly god restore the relationship back to you in jesus name and it is so if you pray that prayer i decree and declare tonight you are restored in the name of jesus now if you don't have a church home, it's my prayer that you find one. I'm not saying you have to come to Kingdom Life Ministries, but we are good ground. If you if you need a church home or if you need a pastoral covering, my pastors are Bishop Alvernus L. Johnson and Pastor Chantel Johnson, and they are pastors after God's own heart. So I'm here to tell you, if you need a church home, hashtag KLM in the, in the comments. If you prayed that prayer of restoration, hashtag restore in the comments. And if you were saved, hashtag restore hashtag saved in the comments and i promise you i will reach out to you if you want to even inbox me if you see, you see my name out there if you want to inbox me i will also i will also um have discussion and chat with you about it i want you to get all the promises i want every promise and declaration that we spoke about tonight to pertain to you and it happens for those who are in the kingdom it's just like any kingdom the 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 blessings of the king are for those who are in the kingdom the blessing of the king goes to the king's children amen so i'm here to tell you if you are not saved pray that prayer let's get saved come on into the kingdom so that all these proclamations promises and prophecies and declarations belong to you amen well it's already it's after nine o'clock it's 901 y'all know i try to do my little 30 minutes but it never works out like that so this is just our hour of unlimited power so before we go for those who tagged and shared the most you know i will be sending you your own your very own exclusive you unlimited personal journey where you can go out and you can write write what you're grateful for you can there's you know blank lines in there write what you're grateful for use a nightly and write write one thing write 10 things write three things three things just write so we can get some sweet sleep amen and if you have not already gotten yours it's the pray it believe it see it intercessors prayer journal if you have not gotten yours this is available now on amazon.com go out there order it y'all you'll know i already always claim that i am going to be an amazon.com bestseller so go out there help me become an amazon bestseller get your um intercessors prayer journal now this one has a way that you can track your prayers it has a, a um, introduction and then you can go out there and you can write out your prayers. You can track your prayers, track who you're praying for, track the manifestation of the prayers. Even you can track who you're encouraging. Amen. And there's some pages in there for reflection. Some of some of my favorite passages and some little nuggets that God gave me to give to you. So I'm here to say I thank you all for joining me. I, I ask that you go out. If you if you just join and go back and just watch the broadcast. Let's get thankful, y'all. Let's get grateful. And y'all, like I said earlier, you are unlimited. We are going into 2022 with the gratitude of attitude. The attitude of gratitude. We're going into 2022. Our attitude is gratitude. Amen man and remember always you are unlimited i love you all and next time i see you it will be 2022 so i wish you all a happy new year i pray that you all had a wonderful holiday and i look forward to seeing you all next monday with some testimonies amen all right i love you guys God bless you.